Microsoft Teams provides a compelling use case for really using it as your communications hub throughout your workday. And one of the reasons this is is because it has very tight integration with your Outlook calendar. So many of us are used to using Outlook uh, calendar to manage our workday, setting appointments, setting up meetings, that kind of thing. Um, and Microsoft Teams has a very tight integration and ability into your Outlook calendar such that the two always should be in sync. Also, when you're scheduling meetings in Microsoft uh, Outlook, it's really easy to set up a Teams meeting uh, for that uh, meeting. So let's go ahead and look at how we might do that. So first of all, when we look at Microsoft Outlook, we'll notice that when we have the updated Office 365 apps installed, that in Outlook, when we're in our calendar, we have a new Teams meeting icon here in the toolbar. So if I just click on that new Teams meeting, I will be brought up with a window to set up a, a Microsoft Calendar invite, normally like I normally would, but you'll notice that the location has been sent to Microsoft Teams and that there's been some information added to the email automatically for people to be able to join, including a link to the online meeting um, that will be available for either web or the app version, and a phone number for dial-in. The other way we can set up a, a meeting in uh, Microsoft Outlook is by just double clicking on the time we want to schedule an appointment. So let's say we want to schedule something for Tuesday at 11 a.m. I double click, it brings up a meeting request, and we'll notice here that at the top toolbar I have the option to make it a team meeting here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and you'll see that it does something very similar where it goes ahead and changes the location and it puts things in, uh, puts all the contact information into the uh, body of the email. And then I can go ahead and type in my uh, text of the invite, uh, send it, you know, give it a title, um, and set required people. So let's go ahead and just say it's a test meeting. I'm going to invite a friend, Bill Taylor, and we're just going to say, hi, Bill. Need to discuss a project with you. By the way, this is a test to ignore. Just so he knows that we can get this off his calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Send that meeting request off to Bill. You'll see that it shows up here in my, uh, my Outlook calendar. Now, through the magic of technology and the internet here shortly, we should see it also show up here on my... Whoop, sorry about that. Well, all we need to do is a quick screen refresh, but uh, you'll see that it also showed up here in my um, Teams calendar as well. So now you can see that these two are in sync, um, and I can manage my day much more effectively now um, using things out of uh, Teams only. I don't need to be in Outlook calendar as much. So on the team side, if I wanted to schedule something, let's say I wanted to schedule a new meeting. So I go ahead and create new meeting up here in the top right. And I say test. And we won't add any required attendees. We don't have to. Um, it's going to go ahead and create a, a Teams meeting anyway. So we won't bother anybody with that. Um, and I'm just going to say it's a Teams meeting here. Um, I could say that I want to set it up for a, a um, conference room or something like that as well if I wanted to. But then I can just say, you know, test meeting for Teams demo. And I'm going to go ahead and save. So let's go ahead and create a new meeting uh, here in Teams. I'm going to go ahead and click on New Meeting. I'm going to verify that it is for the date that I'm looking at. So we are in September, September 21st, 7 a.m. 7:30 a.m. is fine. I'm going to go ahead and say I want to have this this uh, meeting in Teams, but also in Office Conference Room. Just so I can let people know that uh, we will be having a Teams meeting, but we'll be using our, our Teams room in our conference room as well. And we'll say test for Teams demo as the subject. That's all I really need to do. And I'm going to go ahead and set save. You'll see that it shows up here in my, oh, in my Teams 
calendar. And here shortly we'll see that show up over here on my Outlook calendar. So you can see that the two are very tightly integrated, very easy to schedule meetings in one versus the other. So that'll conclude using Microsoft Teams and Outlook to manage your daily calendar. I hope you found this informative. Just a key takeaway here is that now, instead of using Microsoft Outlook um, as your, your main point of calendar, I would recommend using Microsoft Teams as the two are linked, so you'll still get your notifications, you'll still have access to it on your mobile devices, all of those kinds of things. Um, but now you can actually have the functionality built right into Teams and not have to leave Teams as often to, uh, to schedule your day.